Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's Carmina. I'm here again for another quick chat with you. And um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Carmina Mevs. I am a certified health and walk 15 coach. And today I want to talk to you about how to cope with stress at work and thrive in chaos. Right. This is such an important topic because nowadays it's almost impossible, impossible to avoid stress. Right. And why is it important to talk about stress is because stress has so many implications on our health and our overall well-being, whether it's emotional, physical um, stress is one of the biggest needle mover when it comes to, you know, maintaining a healthy body weight. And since I know that the majority of you, um, this is an important topic for you, I, I want to address it, right? I don't know about you, but this week has been so trying at, on so many levels, but particularly at work. So if you don't know or if you are not an Apple fan, um, Apple released their um, newest phone this week. Well, at least they announced it this week, the iPhone 8. And because I work for a carrier, you know, it was hell week, really. You know, it's a game of trying to beat the other carriers um, first, so, you know, and as such, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of work um, nonstop. So this week has really tested my ability to remain calm and to remain to manage my stress. And that's why today I wanted to talk to you about how you can do that, because it became so huh, it became so obvious to me that you know, when you don't have your stress under control, you know, you opening the door for diseases, you opening the door for depression, for obesity, you know, and, you know, and some side effects, right? Because your body reacts when you are under stress. And for some people, it's in the form of migraines. Some people, they have stomach upset, um, other people, um, you know, they can't sleep at night. So, you know, it's, it's serious, right? I mean, we've come to accept that, you know, stress is part of our life, which it is. You know, I think it would be unrealistic to, um, to expect to go through life without any stress, right? That's not realistic. Um, so some level of stress is expected and to some degree it's good, right? Because it keeps us on our toes, it keeps us moving forward. But what we do, what we want to avoid is the chronic stress, you know, where, you know, it's day in and day out, it never stops and that's when you start having um, problems. So I want to give you some quick tips to help you deal with it, to manage with it so that you can thrive even when things around you are feel like or seem like they are falling apart, right? So that you know that, hey, you got this and you can make it through. So the first tip that I have for you is to, you know, for a week or so, document it. Keep a journal and identify what are the situations, what are the people, you know, that bring about the stress, right? So because once you have an awareness of, who your stressors are, you can start paying attention, right? And once you know what they are, um, it's easier to fight back, right? So, because unfortunately, a lot of people, when they do experience stress, you know, they tend to fall onto unhealthy habits, right? Either it's smoking, it's drinking, sometimes it's drug, but for the majority of people, the drug of choice is food. So when we're really stressed out, I know myself, when I'm really stressed out, the first thing I go for is sweets. I go to the vending machine and I load up in, 
M&Ms and Swedish fish. You know, it's like mindless stuff that kind of, you know, for some reason I associate with stress relief. And if you watch the video um, that I did about how to kick the sugar habit, you'll know that whenever the, the positive intention of your cravings is to try to bring balance back into your body, right? So when you're stressed, you are on one end of the spectrum and sugar has the ability, right, to bring you to the other extreme. So you eat the sugar in order to try to find a balance. So that's the positive intention, right? So by journaling, right? And you don't, you don't have to do that for the, the rest of your life, but for a week or two, keep track of those situations when you feel um, that the stress is mounting and just notice how are you reacting? Like, are you snapping at people when you're stressed? Do you, are you have difficulty, are you having difficulty falling asleep or do you reach for sugar or coffee? Kind of keep track of that stuff, right? And then the second thing that you want to do is to develop healthy responses to stress because now you're aware, you can see it coming. And so you can be prepared with some, uh, what, what should I call it? With some tricks you can have some tricks up your sleeve to help you cope with it in the moment and then in long term in the long term so in the moment some quick things that you can do you can practice deep breath right deep breathing we talked about this in um, a video and and deep breathing is simply paying attention to your breathing and i recommend the 557 method and it's really easy you inhale for five and you count one, two, three, four, five. You inhale, you hold your breath for a count of five, and then you exhale slowly for a count of seven. You do this three times, and then you'll notice naturally your body is going to release the tension, right? The other thing that you can do, you can start meditating. And meditation, I know it feels like, oh my God, you know, I have to become a monk to meditate. You don't. You know, you can start with five minutes in the morning or in the evening, really just focusing your thoughts. It's really what it is. Um, it's really not that complicated and it has so many benefits. The other thing that you can do, which I absolutely love, is moving your body, right? Because whenever you move your body, you change the emotion. You change the state of emotion that you're in. So if you're sitting down, Stand up, take a walk around the office if you need to, right? Um, I remember I used to work in a really, really, really stressful environment. And oftentimes my coworkers, you know, there was always somebody crying in the office because, you know, it was a difficult place to work. And what I used to do, I used to say, come on, let's go for a walk. We would go out, walk for a bit. And then that would usually do the trick, you know, just... We didn't have to talk. We didn't have to do any deep analysis. It's just, you know, simply by moving your body, you allow it to release the tension, right? So these are like little things that you can do um, in the moment and then long term, right, to help your body cope with the stress. Now, if we're thinking longer term, we have to learn how to set boundaries and we have to learn how to relax. So, you know, nowadays, a lot in the workplace, a lot of time they give you a phone, a work phone to take home with you. And, you know, I don't know what your circumstances are, but sometimes the expectation is that you at least you think that the expectation is that the moment the phone rings, you have to answer. There's nothing that says unless you're a, a surgeon or a doctor and there are lives that depend on you picking up that phone. You do not have to pick up that phone. You don't have to answer a text message just because the moment it, it gets in. You just don't have to. You can let the phone ring. You can get to it later, right? It's so important to establish boundaries. And um, I know for me at work, one of the things that I had to make clear is that unless I know that something is expected from me, or there is a weekend schedule and I'm expected to work that week, that weekend, 
I will not check my messages. I do not. I do not answer the phone. I do not answer text because this is my personal time, right? That's what it's called. It's not being confrontational and being, well, you know, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. But it's so important to establish boundaries because you have a life outside of work, right? And unless you voice it, guess what? The expectation is that you are going to pick up the phone every time it rings. If that is part of your job description, that's something different, obviously. But, um, you know, I find more and more the expectation from employers that you are at their disposal 24-7. This is simply not the case. Okay. And then um, in learning to relax, take your vacations. I mean, and I'm guilty of it. You know, sometimes you get to the end of the year and you realize you accumulated so many days, so many weeks because you've never taken a day off, right? Because we have this this um, mindset that God forbid you take a day off, the world is going to stop. No, the vacations are there to allow you to rejuvenate, to get your bearings and, you know, come back refreshed. You know, you are a better employee when you take vacations. Don't worry, your job is going to be there. And if it's not, do you really want to be working at that place? I don't know. Just my thought. So there you go, right? Um, I hope you take that advice to, to heart because stress is so, you know, it's the silent killer. You know, people don't think about it until it becomes a problem. But it is so important to learn to manage your stress. And it's one of the things, it's one of the steps in my five-step formula, my get fit with ease five-step formula um, that I teach my clients. We go through um, and look at their lifestyle and figure out where is their life unbalanced and wh- how can we bring that balance back, right? Because you know what? If all it was about was watching what you eat and exercising more, if that worked, it would have worked by now. So clearly, getting to your ideal body weight is more than calories in, calories out. We have to look at your entire um, um, lifestyle, like your, your entire habits and see, you know, where are you not being um, congruent, right? Like, who are you being while you're eating, right? Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. So we have um, a new group starting really soon. So if you would like to chat about it, um, go to my website at getfitforlifenow.com. And the four is a number four. It's not spelled out. Getfitforlifenow.com and schedule some time with me. And we'll have a no strings attached conversation to figure out where you are right now, where you want to be. And uh, we'll see if there is, um, if something is getting in the way of you reaching your ideal body weight, right? And if you have questions about the program, I can definitely answer those. If not, it will be a great conversation. And I guarantee you, you'll get some breakthroughs from it. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. And um, please feel free to comment, share, leave me messages. Um, It's difficult to do it while I'm doing the, the broadcast, but I certainly look at all your comments and I do reply. All right. So with that, I hope you have a great weekend. You take some time to relax and refresh for Monday morning. All right, you guys, have a good night. See you soon. Bye for now.